Ladies and gentlemen, peace be upon you. Just note that depending on your definition of peace, it's a process to achieve. A process that has been attempted by many individuals, and although progress has been made, it's important that we note conflict is still ongoing. Tawako Carmen uses three modes of persuasion to argue her definition of peace in order to bring awareness to the Arab revolutionary youth. Similar to how I grabbed your attention here today, Carmen uses repetition of the phrase ladies and gentlemen throughout her speech to refocus the attention of the audience. Once she has their attention, Carmen uses ethos to show the audience they can trust her. This is accomplished through the author's extensive knowledge on the background of Yemen, along with her knowledge of the current revolution, as she is an active member. After Carmen has the audience's trust, she then connects to their emotions through the use of pathos. The author's deliberate choice with words such as thundering footsteps, devastating results, or yearning for reconstruction adds an emotional emphasis to her message. She paints a picture of her exact definition of peace to better connect with the audience, and she tells the story of the Arab youth without being melodramatic towards the conflicts they've endured, to bring light to the fact that they are still optimistic. The use of repetition, ethos, and pathos assists Tawakal Carmen in conveying her message that the Arab revolutionary use is a peaceful demonstration demanding for peaceful change.